What's up everyone, welcome back. Practically every Laker player other than LeBron has been mentioned in a trade rumor up until this point, and that has included fan favorite Dwight Howard along with their other veteran minimum contract players. According to Jake Fisher of Bleacher Report, the Lakers have reached out to rival teams to gauge the value of their veteran players, which notably included Dwight Howard, if the rumor can be believed. And if you take a look at all of their veteran minimum players, arguably the only two who do have legitimate trade value are Dwight Howard and Carmelo Anthony. But given how important and valuable Melo has been to their rotation, I really doubt they would consider trading him, but with Dwight Howard having been in and out of their rotation lately, he could potentially be on the trade block. I would word may end up being the one to be sacrificed. The idea behind trading him would be to free up an additional spot on their team and to possibly get a second round draft pick in return for him as well. Much like Rajon Rondo, even though Dwight Howard is in the latter stages of his career, he can definitely still help a team. A team like Denver or Chicago, who do not have a reliable to do any of that, but I do want you to be aware of what their motives might be. They probably do not love the idea of moving on from Dwight Howard, but it could be something that they feel the need to do. Like I mentioned before, he is not an ideal fit for their team, given his limitations on offense, because as we know, it has become hard for them to play any kind of traditional big on the court with Westbrook. It would be unlikely for them to trade him before the return of Anthony Davis, but when he does eventually come back, I would not be all that shocked to hear about Dwight Howard getting moved. But other than Dwight Howard, which other veterans on their team could potentially be moved, I already briefly mentioned DeAndre Jordan, who I do believe they will attempt to trade, but I'm not sure any team will take him. In order to trade him, it would definitely require attaching a second round draft pick along with him, and even then it might still be difficult. And another player who is currently out of their rotation who I do believe they will attempt to trade is Kent Bazemore. Given that Bazemore is at least a little bit more productive than DJ, I could see a team taking him in a trade with a second round draft pick attached. In order to avoid giving up any draft compensation, it would be easier for them to simply waive them, but I really doubt they will do that. Given that both of their contracts are guaranteed, they very likely want to avoid paying them, along with having to pay the player to replace them. In general though, I do believe they'll trade both DeAndre Jordan and Kent Bazemore if they can find a good trade partner, but at the end of the day, they may have to keep one of them if they cannot find a good trade partner and they are too cheap to waive them. But what about Wayne Ellington, Avery Bradley, and Trevor Ariza? Between them, who might be the most likely to be traded? In my opinion, I believe it would be Wayne Ellington, and despite arguably being a great fit on the court with LeBron and Russ, he has been in and out of their rotation. Frank Vogel has typically preferred to play a more defensive-minded player like Avery Bradley, Austin Reeves, or even Stanley Johnson over Wayne Ellington. And even though none of them can come close to shooting the ball like Ellington can, they have not found a way to properly incorporate him into their rotation, and because of that, I do believe he might end up being traded. Though I do not really see Avery Bradley or Trevor Ariza being traded, given that they are both better fits for what Frank Vogel likes to do. However, do not believe that they are untouchable either. If for whatever reason a team would really want one of them badly, and would be willing to give up a good trade asset to acquire them, I don't think the Lakers would be too unwilling to part with them. In conclusion though, I believe the most likely veteran players to be traded from their team are Ken Bazemore and DeAndre Jordan if a team will take them, followed by Dwight Howard and Wayne Ellington. Unfortunately, I do see them trading Dwight Howard if a team would come along and give them a good offer, given that he is not an ideal fit for their team with the direction that they are moving in. But with that, that will conclude my thoughts on the rumors about Dwight Howard potentially being traded, along with their other veteran minimum players. And what do you guys think? Which of their veteran players do you believe will be traded? Let me know your thoughts by commenting down below and we can talk about it there. 
But before you go, I would like to invite you to join the official Discord for the channel. If you like NBA and Laker-related debates and news updates, then I guarantee you would enjoy it. And if you want to join, be sure to click the link on the video or in the description down below. And if you want additional NBA content from me on YouTube, head over to my second channel called JSM+. Plus. I make videos about the entire NBA over there, so if you think you might enjoy that, make sure to check it out. That will do it for this video though. Big thank you to everyone who took the time to watch until the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, be sure to drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you have not already, and turn on notifications to get notified right away when I drop a new video. But as always, thank you for watching and have a great day.